LTD. So the overdrive I've used since 2005. It's great. You can hear that it's um, it's not overly powerful. It's not a high gain pedal by any means. It's a nice transparent kind of vintage voiced overdrive. Let me show you the clean tone. this pedal for a long time, dug it, um, and didn't have any problem with it until I went to put together a small board to do some flying gigs, and kind of kept running into backline amps I didn't love. A lot of fenders, and whatever, this is not my, my flavor of amplifier. And I got real distracted by my tone not being there, the tone that I wanted to hear, and ended up twiddling knobs instead of playing music, which is what I was supposed to be doing. Um, so what I'm looking for is a foundational overdrive pedal that will give me a, a tone that I want and recognize into a wide array of amplifiers, especially fenders because that's just what you run into all the time with back lines. Um, so to kind of test this out, I'm using a valve train. This is my most fendery amp that I have. And I think it's, it's 22 watts, so it's like a deluxe or whatever. It's, you can hear that it's obviously fender. And so what I decided to do is try to go for a amp in a box situation. What I tried to do is go for an amp in the box solution, I should say. And so I got the Euphoria and the Cymbal, which are both dumbly kind of sounding pedals. And we're going to see which one solves this problem better. So this is not, not going to be a shootout, it's a comparison. See which one of these pedals can do this job better, because obviously both of these are fantastic pedals. I've used them both a ton. They sound great. So let's start with the cymbal. We'll talk through its controls, hear it, then we'll go through the euphoria, talk, uh, go through its controls, hear it, and then we'll see what we think. So let's start with the cymbal. The cymbal has three controls that are normal <laughs> and self-explanatory to a long, to a large part. Uh, the level controls like the output, right? Contours the tone control, sensitivity is your gain. Where things get interesting is with the um, accent. The accent sounds to my ears like a treble booster getting pushed into the gain stage of the pedal, into the front front of the circuit, front of the circuitry. And I think this is what this is trying to do is emulate the exactly same named control on a dumble, which brings back maybe it's like a cut control on a box, something bringing back like presence all the way at the end of your signal chain, right before it hits the power amp. This seems to do it backwards, and uh, so as you turn it up, you get more upper, mids, and treble, and the bass gets tighter and tighter. Um, and it also obviously it interacts strongly with the gain because it's going to give you that's going to give you more gain and the tone controls. So this is really like the whole character of the pedal. Your control over the character of the pedal is really with this accent control. Uh, lastly, you can run this at up to 12 volts. Literature that came with the pedal said that doesn't make any difference, but to my ears, I hear a difference between 12 volts and 9 volts, and I'll show you that. All right, let me get the pedal hooked up. I'm going to put it just in the same place. I mean, this is about me finding out which pedal works better for me in my pedal board. So I do have a booster pedal at the beginning to act as a buffer, and it's goosing the signal as well. And I have a little short delay at the end, which is also buffered. So it's a buffered. Uh, board, but everything in between is true bypass. I think that's it. Alright, symbol. Uh, one cool thing you'll notice about the symbol is that it has a relay a true bypass, which is great. There's actually no pop at all, and the switch works really well. Um, also, it has the coolest LED that I've seen. I don't know why. It makes it sound better. So, this is what the symbol sounds like. Yeah. 
pretty awesome. Uh, let's check out this accent control. So I'm going to just turn it all the way down. This is going to decrease the gain and that, but I'm not going to compensate right now so that you can hear what the difference is. <laughs> Works better when you play all the right chords. Back to about where it was. Actually, less than it was. A little more than a quarter turn, I guess. More. See, somewhere in there, all of a sudden, I can hear the notes really taking shape. Bass tightens up. Again, here's uh, no accent. That's pretty bloaty. I mean, it's, it's a cool sound. It's, I wonder if in a band mix, though, that your lower strings might just get lost. So for me, somewhere in here, really sounded good. But let's go beyond that and just see what happens. super pleasant right there so let's go back to where I kind of found that I liked it and let's compare the 12 volt and the 9 volt so 12 again I hear a huge difference. Well, a difference. Back to 12 volts. For me, I definitely prefer the 12 volts. So, cool. Uh, let's switch over to the Euphoria.